always a large fly when I go live. Good morning, Internet. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, world. It is Sunday, the 6th of October 2019. I am Carla Jenkins. I'm an eBay reseller from Bristol in the southwest of England, and I have been to the car boot sale to buy stuff. And I am here to show you my stuff. And currently, I seem to be alone with no viewers. Oh, no, eight viewers. Let's say some hellos. Good morning, Shazad first in today. Good morning, Jason Entwistle. Good morning, Deb Hughes. Good morning, Mandy Michelle. Good morning, Auntie Sue and Welsh Wonder Nia. How the devil are you all? Are you well? Are you all tickety-boo and flippity-flop? Oh, God, loads of people. Good morning, Karen and Jojo, Scooby Shaggy, Janet Plant, T. Suzanne Davies and Claire James. Claire Gout, Juan. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> God. Good morning, Tess. Hello. <coughs> Stop choking. Tess, Helen, Saz Guest, Tracy's Den, and Rebecca Turner, who's in church for Harvest Festival. Good morning, Just Me. Good morning, Claire James. Did I say good morning, Claire James, a second ago? Yes, I have. Good morning, Claire James. Good morning, Relove Reseller. Good morning, Humble Bargains. Good morning, Fandria Carrie. Good morning, Claire Riley. Claire Count, too. Good morning, Adele Smith. And good morning, Emma Hall. Now, Emma Hall is new to the chat. Oh, God. Good morning, uh, Andrew from Money Mental, Kerry Davison, and Polly Manning. Emma Hall, who is new to our chat. Where's the chat? Is the chat there? Emma Hall is my extremely good friend who I never see because she lives a million miles away in, in the top of Scotland and she's never popped into a live stream before. So normally I would say when somebody new comes in, please be nice to this new person. Don't bother being nice to her. I'd be absolutely foul to her. She'll love it. Good morning, Lady Lolly. Good morning, Josh, who's still in bed. You've missed the car boot sale, you lazy git. Good morning, Ruthie's 11.7. Good morning, Sam and Bumblebee. How lovely to see you all, 43 of you watching. Ruthie says, listening only. I Probably best. I don't look my best on a Sunday morning. Probably best to turn the sound off as well. <laughs> um, I have been to the car boot sale. Uh, good morning, Ian, the top, the top, the top doctor. Good morning, Ian, the top doctor. Been to the car boot sale, spent some money, spent a little bit more than four quid this week. Not much more, but a little bit. And I've got some stuff to show you. I've also got some stuff I'm not going to show you. So my regular, one of my regular car boot guys gave me three black bags of unsorted, unchecked stuff. It could be rubbish. It could be absolutely shite. But it was free. And so I thought I'd take it. So I'm going to do a little individual video about that. I don't know when, though, because um, I don't know when I'm going to have time. But, yeah, that's the plan. Um, there are some more people popping in. So let's say a couple more good mornings. Uh, Laurel, Maisie P, uh, Shelley Braithwaite. Josh says, I was hired to do an afternoon tea today for family, so that paid for me to skip it. It's not the attitude, Josh. It's not the attitude. Good morning, Adele. Good morning, Claire Plant. Claire count three. Are we on three Claire's? Good morning, Claire Borden. Claire count four. Four Claire's. Four Claire's. <laughs> um, I think I think I've got all the Claire's. If you, if you are a Claire and you haven't said hello, come and say hello and join the Claire count. Um, so, yeah, free stuff. So, those bags, I'm going to make you feel sick. Oh, God, I can't pick the camera up. Anyway, they're down the other side of there. You can't even see them because the camera wire is so caught in with all the other wires that it won't lift higher. But there's three black bags of stuff over there that I'm going to go through and do a separate video about at some point and see if I've got anything worth selling. It was free. Free stuff. Good morning, Kimberly. Good. I can't say Kimberly without saying it in Victoria Wood voice. Have you seen my friend, Kimberly? <laughs> um, good morning, Catherine Graham. Uh, Kirsty's Victoria, Kirsty Victoria Retro. I don't think I've missed anyone. If I've missed anyone, good morning to you. Josh says he's cooked coffee and walnut, Victoria, flapjack, shortbread, two, two types of scones and a little bit of sandwiches. You haven't cooked sandwiches. Stop bigging yourself up, but well done all the cake and make sure you save me some. Good morning, Lainey Ray. Lainey's in a very cold and miserable Sunderland. And good morning, Kelly. Seek and resell. Shall I show you what I did pay for? Sorry about the fringe, by the way. Ian didn't have time to trim it. Ian, Ian demanded that I trim my fringe before this morning's broadcast, and it just hasn't happened. Ian takes a, a firm and, and fatherly interest in my fringe, don't you, Ian? <laughs> so I bought this morning. Let's show you these first. Converse slip-on dap dolly shoes. I'm going to need some keywords for those, aren't I? What, what do we call those? They're like ballet flats, but they're Converse. Converse ballet flats? They're a size six. I see. These glasses aren't right, you know. They're a size six. Yeah. They were two pounds. I would say unworn, looking at those soles. Karen says her office is a tip and she can't be bothered. She needs Quinn to get herself. So, Karen, go and do some work. Don't make us start bullying you again. Good morning, Andrea. 
I said that in a really weird, weird voice. Good morning, Andrea. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that like that. Good morning, Andrea. <laughs> pumps. Yes, it depends where you are in the country, doesn't it? Both uh, both SARS guest and um, Emma are saying pumps. It depends where you are in the country, because um, for me, a pump is a fart, or at least it was when I lived in the Midlands. Have you pumped? <laughs> um, we would have called our gym shoes, we would have called them daps when I was a kid. Uh, Mila says boat deck shoes. Josh says I cooked them. I popped water into the oven and they turned into sandwiches. Forget the wine, I can make sandwiches. I don't know what the hell you're using for your sandwiches. Daps, yeah, daps would have been. Andrea said you scared me then. What did I do that scared you? I don't think that was me. And good morning. Um... I could have sworn somebody quite came in. People are, people are nipping in and going back out. So there we go. Emma says there's sand shoes in, in Scotland. You don't have any sand, do you? You don't have beaches, do you? You just have wild and rugged moorland or something like this. Is that, is that Yorkshire? My geography has always been, always been tipped off. Anyway, they were two pounds. There's bound to be more than two pounds profit in those. And these three items were a pound altogether. So those, those are two Hornsey pottery egg cups, probably worth almost nothing. And a Le Creuset, and I'm holding it rather gingerly because it's minging on the inside. Can you see all the dirt? Minging on the inside. And there was some rust on the bottom, which I was wiping off, and it just got more orange and frothy. So I left it alone. So <laughs> the school mom voice saying, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, Polly says plimsolls. Morning, Lisa J. Morning, Jesse. So yeah, um, for the, th those of you who will have recognised, this is um, this is Le Creuset. Le Creuset, Josh. It's Le Creuset. And I got it and you didn't. Good morning, Bexify and Margaret Stewart. Um, it's uh, the, the French Le, Le Cousances version on the bottom there. And I don't know what it's worth, but I paid a quid for that and two egg cups. So it's bound to be a profit. But it is Ming. It is all the Ming. Yeah. Good morning, Heather the Treasure Pirate. I got three DVDs for a quid. I only really wanted that one. Sorry, the light's wrong. I only really wanted that one, but since they were three for a pound, I also chucked in Fame, which Natalie will enjoy, and The Hogfather, which I've already got, but I feel, feel if somebody will buy this closer to Christmas. This is Terry Pratchett. Um, if you haven't seen this, then you, you should probably buy it off me and watch it, because it's bloody brilliant. Terry Pratchett's Hogfather DVD, and um, the case is knackered, so I have to find a new case for it. But I feel, you know, it's a Christmas one, somebody will probably buy that. Good morning, the monocle. I think I said hello, hello to Adele already. No, I've no, no idea how to clean the idea in, inside of Le Crust, which is what I call it when it's minging as well. Um, although a lot of people, there's a lot of tips on the internet. I haven't tried all of them. Um, I've got a question for hum, from Humble Bargains. Bear with. Long time looker, first time in the chat, welcome. Can I please ask a couple of questions? I'm looking to buy a mannequin for photographing clothes. Could you recommend a particular type? So I just have Edna so cool because she has no head, head no. um she came actually she came from a charity shop but you can pick those types up very very cheaply on ebay or um i see you see them in home bargains sometimes as well so she, she's just a she's a polystyrene body and that makes it very easy to pin stuff to us and that's worth considering um if you want to sell lots of different sizes of clothes you can get one of the dressmakers mannequins that you can take in and expand according to sizes i get on all right with edna she we, we struggle sometimes because she doesn't realize that she's too fat for certain clothes. So when she tries to get into a size eight and it doesn't work, I have to have a word with her. But apart from that, we don't have too much trouble. So that was one question. And then um, another question was, am I right in thinking Josh sells packaging boxes? And by the time I, I'm, Josh has probably responded to that by now, but if you haven't, he hasn't, well, yes, he does. So let me just check if I've missed anyone while I was um, babbling on. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning. Cheryl, 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 your Cheryl. Um, <laughs> lacrosse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, TC Sunday, so like Terry Fracture, and so you should. I've, I have no time for people who don't. <laughs> um, yeah, see, Heather says get a small mannequin, an 8 to 10 is best. Mine is about a 10 to 12, and like I said, we have words when she tries to get into an 8. Good morning, Lisa Fenn. Now, Cheryl's saying good morning, Martina. I think she's talking to Relove Reseller. Is that you? Are you Martina? I'll try and remember that. Good morning, French fancies. Just back from the Brocante and it started raining. Um, 
So yeah, three three D D D D D Ds. Three D V blah, blah, blah. Three D V Ds for a pound. Heather says she's waiting on some of Josh's clear self sealed bags. And she's right, Josh has not advice. Josh does sell packaging materials. He sells boxes, he sells um, mailing bags and clear self sealed bags. And they are, um, oh God, my brain. They're good for the environment. I can't think of what the words are. You know what I mean? They're recyclable, they're made from recycled materials. His packaging bags are, it's not biodegradable because that's the wrong one. It's, it's something else. But apparently biodegradable is not as good as it sounds because the stuff doesn't degrade far enough. Josh will be in in a minute. He'll come back. Josh, come back and tell people what I what I, what I mean. <laughs> um, yes, they do. The home bargain sleep aid tablets do work. I have slept better since since I've been taking them. So yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely worth the one pound fifty. This is my big spend of the day. It's a coat, and I don't know why I bought a bloody coat. I'm supposed to be stopping selling coats. It is. Are we all ready for the accent? Javert. It is Javert. It has... Um, uh, there is a name for this kind of astrakhan. It has an astrakhan for a collar. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, but astrakhan maybe. And it is a long coat. It needs a bit of a debobble and I paid £8 for it. But I'm still quite pleased with that for it because it's Javert. So that, that's my highest spend of the day. Yeah, Josh, talk to Humble Bargains about your um about your packaging. Right, let me just scroll back up. Lisa says she's sad this morning. Her foster cat went to his new home yesterday. She's sad not to have him anymore. New one coming tomorrow, they're called Sam. I think just think, think how lovely it is that he's got a, a proper new home. Isn't that fabulous? Andrea says they're compostable. That's the one. Thank you for uh, congratulating my sale, Monica. Eco-friendly. Everybody's trying to help me with my, with my words. Thailand Heron says, good morning, just watching from a hospital bed. What's wrong with you? I mean, don't tell us if you don't want to. It might be personal. But whatever it is, I hope you are better soon and back with us in person. Ian says, Josh is happy to send his package for the right price delivered. I have no words. No words. No words. French fancy says, my accent is perfect. My <laughs> Um, carbon neutral sugar cane eco mailers which are fully recycled that's exactly the sentence i was groping for there we go there we go so yes yeah, see josh if you want to um be eco-friendly with your mailers well not see josh contact josh 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 will stick a link in the just in the comments below this video after it's over won't you josh he'll put a link in and then you can all go and buy your stuff off him one for Andrea Hills. It's not for you, Andrea Hills. Don't get too excited, but you'll be like you'll, you'll be happy to see it. It's a Mickey face mug. It is an original Disney authentic, Disney store authentic item. I paid two pounds, which is more than I normally pay for a mug at the car book sale. But I really liked him. I thought he was unusual. And um, I've not seen one of these, one this shape before. So I decided to spring for it. And I think he's the only mug I bought today. So I feel quite quite virtuous having only bought one mug two pounds uh <laughs> cheryl says i think my comment disappeared because i said shit no you can say shit love i've got plenty of moderators who will allow that through catherine says catherine can do <laughs> real love says don't cut your video time for your vlog i look forward to it it's actually a bit shorter this week but it's not because i've been deliberately cutting it it's just because i've been anywhere we've done anything but thank you. I appreciate all the comments on the vlog saying that you, you're quite happy them, for them to be the length they are. And I will continue in in my usual way. I will film when I've got stuff to film and not when I haven't. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I did have a really nice apology from the lady who made the original comment. She didn't mean to upset me. She didn't mean to cause any any problems. And it was a, it was a really lovely, um, very graceful apology. And so, so, yeah. So let it lie. Let it lie. Lisa says... Next time you do the French accent, wear a Brett on top, a beret, and a fake moustache. Why? What's wrong with my real moustache? Rude. <laughs> Andrea likes the mug. Ted says, cute mug, but a bit tricky to drink out of it with them ears. I suppose so. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't. You can't drink out of it. You'd have to... It's... That's... That's... I... 
You can't drink. You can't drink out of it if you hold it by the handle. <laughs> Shit design. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh dear. Everybody said I want long vlogs. I haven't been anywhere this week, honestly. If you had long vlogs this week, with me sitting there going, well, well, here's me not doing anything. <laughs> Catherine's off sourcing and food. See you later. <laughs> Definitely design fail. For, yeah, Karen says it's an ornamental mug. Definitely. <laughs> Mandy says that's a return waiting to happen. I'll put it in the description. Ornamental use only. Okay. I noticed Lex isn't in. She was up early this morning debating whether to go to the car boot. So perhaps that's where she is. If she was in, she'd tell me that I shouldn't have bought these. So I've got this necklace. These stones are just kind of a pink, they're very pretty pink glass stone, but it's got quite an old style catch on there. So I bought that one. They were only 50p. I can't get the camera right at all, can I? And then this one, again, 50p. Oh, Lex says, oh, bugger, hello, I missed the start. Just talking about you, Lex. I must have summoned you up. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> um... Let's just pop back up the chat a second. Claire says, how's your dad doing? Not great. Thank you for asking, but really not great. We won't, won't go into any detail. A lot of it's in the vlog, but um, but yeah, not great. Um, Tat Doctor says, I completely agree. If it's not an hour long, I'm not watching. Film the missing time sort in your fringe. It'd be a 10-hour vlog of me just going, no, it's still not right, is it? No, I don't like it. No, I know it needs to trim. No, it's too long. No, it's in the wrong place. 10 hours of that, it would be. Jesse says, I've got a Maleficent mug, which is only good for decoration. Lisa says, my long vlogs give her an excuse to spend an hour sitting in our house drinking coffee and doing nothing constructive like every other day. Her words, not mine. Bexify says, just do an hour of eating Reese's, I'd watch. <laughs> and Cheryl says, PMSL at Tat Doctor, we all fiddle with the fringe. I'm not sure if she's using that as a euphemism. You fiddle with your own fringe, mate. But it's true. I've noticed that the first thing I do whenever I put the camera on is go, go look at the state of my fringe every time. <laughs> Ashley Cummings says, good morning. Should be trying to declutter and list by having a tea and watching you instead. And so you should. Oh, look at Heather knowing stuff. Hang on. Heather does know stuff. Heather says that first necklace has the spiral design called a triquetra. That's, is that this bit? Where's the camera? That's this bit which will appeal to pagans and Wiccans, etc. Thank you, Heather. I will immediately forget that word. And when I get to list it, I'll come back to you and get you to remind me of it. That's what will happen. Thank you. Good morning, Kay Gilson. <laughs> Lex says, it's showtime. <laughs> Good morning, Piggy Wigs. <laughs> Good morning, pre-loved boutique. Carmen says, if I did a weekly vlog, you'd all die of boredom, lol. Monday, walk Monty, cook tea. Tuesday, walk Monty, cook tea. Maybe do some listing and repeat. <laughs> um, Foundry says, there's never anything wrong with my fringe. It's never right. I never like it. it. Never sits nicely. Okay, Heather, I will put it in the keywords when I get you to remind me of it later. And then this one. This is the second one I bought. So these are... Um, the camera's not going to show up very well. It's, it's like it's like foil trapped in perspex is, is the best way I can describe it. It's like crinkled up foil like you would get off a chocolate wrapper and then encased in perspex. That really is the only way I can think of to describe it. There was a name. It's a, it's a double string graduated sizes and there was a name. Hang on two seconds. Amrita Singh. Now, somebody tell me, please, immediately, that Amrita Singh is a massively famous designer costume jeweler and her stuff sells for £11 million minimum, please. What have you come and tell me that? That'd be great. And I'll just I'll, 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 I'll untangle it from my ponytail. Amrita Singh. Shall I have a look on my phone? Um, no, I just can't remember how to work eBay. Oh, ka -ching. I'm read oh no see i put it in and she came up as a search so that's um lisa says it's resin but it's not heavy resin it's not heavy like resin it honestly feels like bits of perspex lisa it it does feel like it's it's really really lightweight like it weighs nothing each each of the little individual bits 
weigh nothing at all. Okay, um, there's quite a lot of Amrita Singh costume jewellery on there. Paid 50p. Oh yeah, we wish I should. I could be looking at 15 quid, look at this. You know, there's similar stuff that's gone for, for 15 odd pounds. I wonder if I could find the exact same one, that would be good, wouldn't it? It's not leaping out at me and I could sit here all day scrolling through my phone and making you lot watch me, but that would be very dull for you, wouldn't it? Um, it could be resin, Lee, so I'm not saying that you're wrong. It's just that I would have expected resin to be a bit heavier than that. It weighs absolutely nothing. Good morning, Ron. Uh, yeah, Lex is saying acrylic. It could be acrylic. Well, I did work with acrylic in school, so you think I'd know. But, yeah. Mandy says, you robbed me of a ka -ching. I won't commission. Your ka -ching will be along shortly, I'm sure of it. <laughs> right, what was my ka -ching? My ka -ching was, oh, it was a Smiggle pencil case. Now, I left two smiggle pencil cases behind this morning because i've got so many stock and they haven't been selling and then i come home and one sold so where's the logic of that eh? where's the logic piggy Rick says what is the difference between resin and acrylic and cheryl says isn't, ac isn't acrylic and perspex the same blows my mind i think it's the chemical composite that's different resin i know that you pour and then it sets and acrylic i don't think you pour it i think acrylic comes in sheets and you chop it up and do stuff with it but i might be wrong I don't always know stuff. Sometimes I just mimic my dad and pretend I know stuff and, and hope we'll get away with it. Has the focus gone when I move the camera? Is that a bit sharper? Better, worse, or about the same? My little optician impression. So yeah, those two were 50p each and I'm going to make 11 million pounds out of those. So that's good. Ian, did you ask a question? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a question. Oh, there you go. Ian has a question for Lex, and Lex has probably answered. I've missed it. Would you mind if I contact you via Carl? I really appreciate your advice on some things. Go for it. I don't mind being in the middleman. Although you could message her on the Book of Face. She's on the Book of Face. I bought these. I paid £3 for these. Now, in my experience, there is usually very little money in the thimbles. The money is in the thimble racks or thimble prisons as Shelley referred to the other day so I've got two thimble prisons okay and one of the thimble prisons is full of thimbles however there are two silver thimbles in the bottom corner both of which are quite heavy I'm oh, sorry I forgot to move the chat down so now I can't see what you're all saying um yes Lowell says the focus is better now good morning to here Lex says I've made buttons out of resin it smells amazing and gets you high <laughs> <laughs> Martina says, Carly, you really need to change the carrier bag in the background. It feels like a bad omen. Do you think that's what's happening? Because I am getting a lot of returns. Maybe I'm bringing them home. Um, we're going to Peter Gartland. Peter Gartland and Shell's there and she says, ooh, thimble prisons. <laughs> so, yeah, there are two. There, I think, silver. They might be pewter. Hang on, glasses off again. This one says Victoria and Albert, 1840. So that's definitely antique. 1840 silver thimble millions of pounds millions and millions of pounds this one has now i recognize that design it has the running hair or running fox design on it i don't know if i get that close enough to the camera to show you now i don't know where i recognize this from but i know i recognize it it's not going to focus is it hang on a second let me see if i can can you guys see that it's really not very not very good focus but it has a running hair or running fox design going around it so yeah those two are silver i paid three pounds for the whole lot so i know that the thimble racks alone will bring in considerably more than the three pounds what there is in the thimbles i do not know some of them are actually so these this top row here are too big for the slots and they've been proper wedged in so getting them out of there is going to be fun and games um uh wookie hole ss great britain inveru gardens in scotland so there's a regular mixed bag of stuff there one for mallorca mallorca ireland ibiza another one for ibiza so yeah, there's a regular mixed bag of thimbles and I have no idea 
what the thimbles themselves would be worth, although I, worth, although I would feel that the silver ones would be worth having. So I'm quite happy with the price that I paid. When you hear the crash in a minute, you'll know I've put them down more. Um, Bex, if I shout in Monopoly, and I'm not sure why. Right, let me just scroll back up because I've missed loads. Thimble Prisons, Jesse, Z's are here. Sasuke says the house one is pretty. Yeah, that one that one should get a little bit of money. Um, Sue says, when you go to the car boot with Josh, you go in opposite directions altogether. We haven't been for a while, but we usually just wander around together. Josh only buys teeny tiny things that cost 5p. So we're not really in competition apart from that damn La Crusade pot. Damn him. <laughs> Carmen says, our returns in the returns bag. No, the, the returns bag actually holds books that will go to Mel when it when there's enough to send. So when I finish my books, I put them in the bag, not all of them, but some of them, and I send them off to Mel, Mel, Mel at Sparrow's End. We have a book swap thing going. So that's what's in there, is Mel's books for Mel. <laughs> uh, Lex says, I've had the best return request this week for earrings because they do not fit. <laughs> Damn it, when your earrings don't fit, you know you put far too much weight on. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cheryl says, I've done well. Oh, hi, Joe Morris. Cheryl says you've done well with some thimbles in the past. Lisa Fenn says, smash them live on air, Carla, the thimbles that are stuck in the prison. I'm not smashing them. Cheryl says, the ones on the top row is solitary confinement. French Fancy says, the silver ones are so well on Etsy. I don't do Etsy. Um, Carla says, her mum collects royal family and product thimbles. Product thimbles, what, like, kind of, like, advertising ones? Oh, Bex Fye says, the thimbles in Monopoly, I see. Lainey's in, she says, I've missed everything else. I had to be hoisted, although I was tempted to keep watching while swinging across my room. <laughs> Okay, I've caught up to I've caught up to the bottom of the chat. Karen says that's nice, Colin. I don't know what she was saying that's nice about. What was nice, Karen? Something was nice. Anyway, she'll tell me in a minute. Now I really was out of my comfort zone this morning with the buying. So here's next today's next unusual for me purchase. It is oh god, it is a pile of mounted prints now this one has a picture of a fox on a train with a lizard in a frock no idea what that picture's from if you recognize any of this please do oh the book from l i see okay uh, if you recognize any of this either those of you who are watching live now please let me know or if you're watching later please pop it in the comments this one says Original children's print artist Alan Aldridge published 1973 and they had it priced at £4.50. So at least I know what it is. So that's an actual print. This one just seems to be a mounted page from a book because there's um there's a, a you know page of writing on the other side. This one is another mounted print, again Alan Aldridge 1973. But I cannot get used to this damn camera. Alan Aldridge 1973. And then there was this in there. I paid two pounds, by the way, for all of these. Um, Lex says I would definitely have bought those. This is an exclusive commemorative lithograph. Can I say that when you're pissed? Of Toy Story. And this is from 1996. This smells very cupboardy. Very, very cupboardy. No idea if, there, again, any value in it whatsoever. But two pounds for the whole lot. I thought, why not? Jesse's off to the post office. See you later, Jesse. Hi, DMH Products. Another print. Again, Alan Aldridge, 1973. This one is a mole with a pocket full of worms. I'm sure there's a story behind it. And then this one. Now, this says, copyright the Walt Disney Company. This is another exclusive commemorative lithograph from the Disney store. And that's Sleeping Beauty, I think, isn't it? So, no idea of value. They're all slightly curved upwards where they've been stored badly so i will put them upside down put them under something heavy and flatten them back out again before i do much else with them no idea of any value um oh heather says that they're currently listed for 9.99 each on ebay but i don't know if she's talking to me about my stuff or somebody else about somebody else's stuff um ashley says toy story's hot just now should sell Lisa says, I love those prints. I was glad, I thought they were different. I said there's three of the prints and then one that's just a a kind of a 
mounted page from a book. So I don't know who Alan, Alan Aldridge, see the name sounds familiar. Should I know who Alan Aldridge is? Shall I have a quick googly Google? There's a question from Zaheer. When listing stuff that has no Roman numerals, such as Doom 2, can you use the number instead or both? I would use both. I would write it the way you put it there with the with the two capital I's, but then I would also put Doom and then I'd put the number as well. Because you, you need to, sorry to sound like teaching old dog new tricks here, because I know you're not new to this, but when you're listing, you need to think, if I were searching, what would I put in? And I think your... You'd have, you, I think you'd have a split with your searchers between people who would put in Doom and the number two and people who would put in Doom II. So you, you need to cater for both, I think. Hope that helps. <laughs> okay, Heather says, Alan Aldridge, that, he did artwork for the Beatles, which goes for big money. Is that why it sounds familiar? Maybe it is, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Um, good morning, MT Picker. Uh, Lex says, Sleeping Beauty is such an awful film. I'll just lie here and look pretty until some guy comes and violates me. A lot of Disney is a bit um, misogynistic. He apparently, apparently he wasn't a very nice man, Mr. Disney, apparently. But hey-ho. Um, yeah, Zaheer says, it's good to clarify because I'm personally more likely to use the number threes. Like I said, I think you have to put yourself in the mind of your buyer and go, what would my buyer do? And the answer is, some of your buyers will do one thing and some of your buyers will do the other. Oh, Fandria's done a bit of research. There we go. Alan Aldridge is, uh, Alan Aldridge, eight, 1938 to 2017, was a British artist, graphic designer, and illustrator, best known for his psychedelic artwork made for books and record covers by the Beatles and, and something else. <laughs> Ian says, I think what Carla's saying is buyers are thick. This has been proved. I'm not saying they're thick. I'm saying that they you, you have to get in their minds and, and it's very difficult because they don't all have the same one. <laughs> okay, people are now saying what they think of Walt Disney. I'm not getting it. I know some people love Disney and some don't, so I'm, I'm not expressing an opinion on my channel. My channel will remain completely neutral in every way and I will never have an opinion on anything. I bought Pink Scrabble. I do have an opinion on Pink Scrabble. Partly, I was like, why has Scrabble got to be pink? Scrabble's green. Everyone knows. So what, we've got pink spanners and pink Bic pens. And, I, and then I realised it was actually breast cancer special, so I felt a bit all right about it being pink after that. So it's Pink Scrabble. I've, I've sold one of these before, actually, quite a long time ago, a couple of years ago. And literally everything is pink. The board is pink. Pink board. Pink letter racks pink bag for the tiles and you guessed it pink tiles so hopefully they're all there because they're a bugger to replace if they're not ordinary scrabble it's easy to get spares but pink scrabble not so much but yeah so it was a, it was a breast cancer um awareness release that was why that was why they did pink scrabble not just because girls have to have pink everything okay there's going to be a crash Uh, good morning, KLC Reselling. <laughs> Lex is now working her way through all Disney films and saying why she hates them all. <laughs> I tell you what I liked. I liked Brave. I thought Brave was a really good Disney film. Really enjoyed Brave. But I think that's, is it Disney Pixar, that one? Okay, now this, well, you know we talk about getting outside your comfort zone? These were two quid for all of them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And they are books. Books are not normally outside of my comfort zone, but these are Judge Dredd books. They're not graphic novels. They're ordinary written word novels. Look, with, with proper letters and punctuation and stuff. And there are eight of them. Some of them are Dave Stone and some of them are David Bishop. And I don't know if some of them, if that means, oh, some are Stephen Marley. So the Judge Dredd franchise is obviously one that you can, anyone can write a book in if they want to. I've got three Dave Stones, three Dave Marleys. Sorry, three Dave Stones, three David Bishops and two Stephen Marleys. So, yeah, I don't know what I will sell them for. I paid two quid for the lot. I don't know if they're worth anything at all. They were just a shot in the dark. But Judge Dredd, 2018. Used to like that when I was a kid. Who knows? Good morning, Helen Jones. Says, first time I caught you live. 
Rex Fly says Inside Out is good, and Lex says she hates Inside Out. Too close to home, love. <laughs> right, where are we? Shell Story says, do we need to start photographing bro bro brooches? Bro 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 brooches. I'm stuck in a loop. Brooches balanced on top of our fab tits. Actually, that may work. Depends on whether you've got fab tits or not. Oh, mine are a bit. Got a very good bra. That's what I've got. Randy says, am I branching out? What, the, with the books? I'm try Because I'm trying not to buy clothing, because I have such a massive clothing backlog, but because I still want to buy something, and I still want to go to the car boot, I'm, I'm trying to cast my eye over different stuff for a change. So I suppose in a way I am branching out. I bought the Ally McBeal complete um, DVD set. I've either got one of these currently listed or I've sold one in the past. Not sure which the answer is. Don't know whether I remember selling it, but I know I had it and listed it. So it might still be listed. Kelly's in. She says, morning time, mate. I haven't got a note, but I've got a Tesco receipt. <laughs> a Slender Tone Flex for £1.50. Oh, sorry. Ali McBeal was £1.50. Slender Tone Flex, also £1.50. I, I do reasonably well with these. I don't know which men, that, men it is who are still hoping that they can tone their abs by sitting in a chair, eating biscuits, wearing their Slender Tone Flex. But, um, but, you know, good luck to them, men. Oh, that's sticky. <laughs> that's sticky. That will require some attention. <laughs> sticky. <laughs> good morning, Mick Page. Mick says, good morning, Carlo and one and all. Got to back of the lock up for yesterday. We found 15 boxes of new sealed DVDs pages ago. This is nine lots of 2,000 so far this morning. That's a lot of DVDs. <laughs> That's a lot. Kelly says, Kelly count two. <laughs> so we're on two Kellys, two Catherines and four Claires so far. There's not that many, um, not that many names in the reselling community, is there apparently? That's it. I have hauled you. You have been hauled. Do you feel hauled? I have shown you all my stuffs. It's eclectic is what it is this morning. It's an unusual mix of stuff. I've always sold unusual mix of stuff i mean i've always i've always sold bric-a-brac and various ordnance as well so there's the only things that are here that i would never have picked up in the past maybe are probably the prints and the lith lithographs and the judge dread books everything else is something that i would have picked up and sold before now so um it's not that unusual for me really but there's um there's a scene of chaos in this room again I'm looking around, I've got a pile of stuff there that needs photographing, a pile of stuff here that I've just brought in that we need to deal with, a little bit of stuff there that's going to go to the charity shop. I've started not taking stuff to the office once it's been listed because it seems odd to take stuff there when it's come back, but that means it doesn't have anywhere to live, so it's just hanging around in bags. And then there's the three sacks of stuff that I was given free this morning, so it's getting a bit out of control again in here and it's going to need dealing with, and I'm off on holiday on Tuesday, so it's not going to get dealing dealt with, is it? Just not. It's just going to sit here and not be dealt with. Money Hunter says there's only one Andrew. It sounds like a football chant. Isn't it? One, one something something. There's only one something something. Andrea says how many. Fandria says how many Andreas. It depends on whether you count Andrea and Andrea because you spell it differently, don't you? Only one Lex, always only one Lex. Um, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. Lisa says, Did you attempt trench lane this morning? I did not. It didn't go anywhere near trench lane. It will literally be like the trenches. It'll be like the Battle of the Bloody Somme there with the amount of water they've, we've had recently. So it just wasn't worth it. I just went straight to, um, straight to Easter Compton, did Easter Compton, had breakfast with Anthony, and then came home again. And Kelly says, how is my dad? Is he out of hospital? No, he's not. He's still in a hospital. He is not better. In fact, in some ways he is worse. And I don't think he's coming home anytime soon. If at all. So, um, so yay. That's good. That's not, not good. Obviously, that's, that's it. That's, it is what it is. Case of us, of our, case of us, of our, whatever will be, will be. Do you know what song I've had in my head all week? Oh, Lord, won't you buy me 
a Mercedes Benz. My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. All friggin' week. All night. I wake up in the night. Work hard all my life. I wake up in the night. No help from my friends. All friggin' weeks. Drive me bonkers. Drive me bonkers. Like, like, like drill my brain to get it out. So, Lord, won't you buy me? A Mercedes Benz. I don't even want a Mercedes Benz. Don't buy me a Mercedes Benz, Lord. If you're going to buy me anything, I'll have some kind of camper van, maybe. You know, not not the old VW type because I'm too fat for that. But, you know, camper van would do. <laughs> don't want a Mercedes Benz. Unless Mercedes Benz do camper vans, in which case, oh, Lord, won't you buy me? Anyway, it's been stuck in my head all week. <laughs> and now Shell says, thank you for passing it on to us. Now, yeah, you'll have it in your head now like an earworm. <laughs> Lainey says, um, she hopes my dad can. Thank you for well, lots of you saying thank you very much for, for your wishes for my dad. Um, it's oh, blah, blah. <laughs> People are saying I've got a nice voice. Thank you. The kids tell me it's terrible. And Fandry says, all year I whistle last Christmas. It does her head, it does her head in. Shell's got a tiny Mercedes Benz, but she'll accept a bigger one. You are a tiny person. You're a tiny person. A tiny Mercedes-Benz is plenty for you. You don't need a bigger car. You're a little, little petite pocket po pocket person. Kelly says, I'm not going into a karaoke battle with Carla. <laughs> it's like, because when I start actually trying to sing, then I go off key. In this week's vlog, there's um, we went out with Ali for her birthday and we're singing happy birthday. And you can hear me and I'm totally discordant. I'm like, happy birthday. And it's not even that song. We're just singing ordinary happy birthday. It's shocking. <laughs> oh, I think it doesn't show super chats in all the way, but I think Lexa, yeah, Lexa super chatted five packs towards the gear stick for a Mercedes Benz. Thank you, Lex. Thank you very much. That's very kind. I will buy the gear stick and save up for the rest of the vehicle. <laughs> Um, Zahir says I've got to get a G-Wagon Isn't that, yeah, G-Wagon's what um, Shane Dawson's boyfriend Got and, and really loved, wasn't it Ian says he's pressing the golden buzzer For me <laughs> Are you sure it's not the button that opens the ground And I fall down the hatch Yeah, Kelly says I'm. she's a whistler It does her, head, her own head in <laughs> Oh, Lainey, yeah, you have Lainey says I think I told you this When I sing, my kids ask Who sings that song? And when I tell them They say let's leave it that way, shall we? <laughs> Your kids are savage, but hilarious. <laughs> Carrie says, I bought my Christmas jumper yesterday. I saw a wham last Christmas sweatshirt and it had to be mine. I've got a massive box of Christmas jumpers in the loft. I really need to get them down and list them. Along with all the other stuff, I really need to get listed. Yeah, it's not. The unlisted pile's not going down. I am keeping on top of it by not adding to the death pile. So anything, everything I brought today, I'll list this first. I don't just put it away. And then during the week, I try and, um, excuse me, excuse me, madam, did anybody say you could get out of your bed? Molly, you're supposed to be in your bed. Sorry about that. Molly has um, gone on a proper spree this morning while we're out. We come back, she's ripped all the backs off the sofa. She's pulled all the stuffing out in the back of the sofa cushions. She's had all the coats down off the rack and chewed all of the zips and fasteners off all the coats and all the pockets. Um, yeah, she's basically been an absolute arsehole this morning. So she's very much in the doghouse. Elizabeth Greasy, there's a new name in the chat. Welcome. She says you can sing really well. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, until I start trying. Until I start trying, then it goes wrong. Joan says, do the doggy sing along with you? Kai sings. He's not here. He's downstairs. But Kai will... Yeah. Yeah, Kai proper gets into the song. He knows all of the tunes and none of the words. Yeah, Lex says, oh my God, Molly is a dick. She really is. She really is a dick. She has been a proper arse this morning. Lady says her kids do top over the top impressions of her on YouTube where I flip my hair and giggle constantly. <laughs> but yeah, Molly's been an absolute arse this morning. So we're not friends. It won't last long because I can't stay in the in the bad mood with her forever, but we're not friends at the moment. Lisa says I've been watching Primark YouTube vids, decided on loads of stocking fillers for the grandkids. Harry Potter stuff for grandson, Disney bits for granddaughter. It's nearly Xmas. Yes, it's not nearly Xmas. 
Ian says, Carla, can you talk in your dog telling off voice for the rest of your stream, please? Do you like it, Ian? Is that what um is that is that how you get your kicks? I, I, what like you'd like me to read out other people's comments in my angry dog telling off voice? Is Molly missing Buddy? Lainey says, Oh no, Molly. Claire Riley says, Time for a crate. <laughs> I can't keep it up. We have a crate. I didn't want to go back to crating her. It felt like a step backwards. But I don't mean she's something's gonna have to happen. I think she's gonna have to go back in the crate because she's an absolute arse of a dog. She's gonna be a year old next week or week after. Yeah, week after next, she's gonna be a year old and she's she's not getting better. Molly, where are you? Oh there's Kiki, you weren't downstairs. I thought you were downstairs. Did you want to sing with Mummy? Hi. Oh. Ooh. We started, we got a little oof, and then Molly came in and he was like, No, I'm not. They're not singing, they're just shouting at me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Karen Booth says no choice about the crate. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Lisa Fenn says she used to talk to men like that for money. She's not, she's not, she's not as sweet as me. She's never thought you were sweet, Lisa. Uh, Lisa J says it sounds like separation anxiety. I suppose it could be, but it, she doesn't seem... Why are you doing by the door? She just doesn't seem anxious. She just seems to be naughty. And Karen, we're not talking about that because you know what I think. <laughs> French Fancy says our Labrador still eats the house if he's left for longer than an hour and he's seven. Thinking she doesn't even need to be left, she'll do it while I'm in the bloody shower. So I think I'll be just naughty myself. It won't be the bins now. This is not appropriate behaviour. <sighs> Lex says Jasper's head tilting at her phone, listening to the. No, sorry, not, it's Lainey, not Lex. Listening to the singing. <laughs> and Andrew says there's an act to take on BGT. Oh, you don't sing. What do you do? Say, I just rip stuff up. I am a destructor, Tom. Yes. Yes, I know you're sorry, except you're not sorry enough to not do it next time. No kisses, Tam. No kisses. No, no, no kisses. Just smokes. No kisses. Just smokes. No kisses. She's going again. Oh, God. <laughs> Very much kissed. Um... Lex says, how's Aunt in the van? Well, still there in the street outside. And Cheryl says, that singer's got Taylor to sleep. That's a very easily pleased baby. Emma says, have you tried one of those diffusers like fell away but the dog one? Um, we had one for, for Kai for the fireworks. So what are you two doing? I think they're unpacking the bags. Um, yeah, we had one. I always call it active fed and it's not active fed. It's something similar sue's off by sue but i don't know if it, would, if it would work for just being left alone or whether it's only for i don't know like i said she doesn't seem to be distressed she just seems to be naughty naughty don't know don't know how long have i been waffling 48 minutes emma says i sang Maisie to sleep too possibly self-defense yes when i start singing people just power down <laughs> To protect themselves. <laughs> Shell's off. Bye bye now. Bye bye. <laughs> Can you stop unpacking the black bag, please? I don't know what's more exhausting, the kids last week or the dogs this week. I don't know. Right, I'm going to wind this up because I need to tidy the stuff that I've just brought home. Uh, I need to have a look in these black bags. I don't think I have time to go through these black bags, but a quick look because I want to know what I've, a rough idea of what I've got. And then I'm out this afternoon, so I need to go and get myself primped, primped and preened and presentable and other things that begin with P. Pretty. You got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Ian says we have to find 12 more minutes to, we have to find 12 more minutes to find or he's not watching. We're too late. You've watched. I am off on my holidays on Tuesday, yes. So there will not be a Sunday morning live stream next Sunday because I will be in Mallorca 
and unless the Wi-Fi is brilliant, then I won't even attempt it. And I doubt whether the Wi-Fi will be brilliant because it never is. Lex says, how many things shall I list today? How many things have you got in your death pile, Lex? Um, so, yeah, there probably won't be a live stream next Sunday. And there may not be a waffle. There'll be a waffle going up tonight, but there may not be a waffle next week because I don't particularly want to film all of my holiday and I don't think everybody wants. I don't know. I don't know. There might be a mini diddy waffle. A little wafflet, tiny wafflet. I will be doing a video about the black, black, the black, 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 the black, black. The I but probably need some new beef. Ba 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 ba. I will be doing a video about what's in the black bags. I will be filming it. So, um, Lex says she's got about twenty-five jewelry and fifty clothing items unlisted. Well, then today you should list seventy-five items, Lex. That's what you should do today. Sundays are not a day of rest in the Lex household. You're not religious. You can't claim that bullshit. So get on with it. Crack on. Why are you slacking? And Karin, is Karin, is Karin still with us? Karin's still here, isn't she? Karin, I think you should do five listings today um, for no reason apart from the fact that I think you should because I think you've gone off the boil slightly and I think you need somebody to rev you up again. So I think Lex should do 75 and you should do five. That's what I think. And I'm sure everybody else agrees with me. Karin is still there. Karin is now going, oh, shit, I don't want to do five listings today. Karin, come on, I believe in you. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess. <laughs> Give them a sense of pride. Sorry. Dogs are like, ah! <laughs> right. Um, yeah. I've lost it. I've lost. I plainly lost it. Oh, Lisa says um, she enjoyed my new clothing try-on video. Thank you. I enjoyed doing it. Funnily enough, I was very um, apprehensive about getting the old um, the old plod bon out, but it's done. I would like to do a yours clothing one, but I'd actually have to go and spend money to do that. Whereas with Simply Be, I was able to order it and then send it back when I didn't want to keep it. Whereas yours clothing, actually, I can actually part with cash. I know I can take it back, but even so. Mandy's doing 25 listings today. Lex says she's not doing 75. She'll compromise on 30. Uh, Andrew's off. Bye, Andrew. Um, Karen says she hasn't listed in October yet. In that case, definitely five today, uh, Karen, please. No excuses. Drugs Bunny says you are in my recommended videos for some reason. I don't know why I would pop up in recommended videos for someone whose name is Drugs Bunny, but hello. <laughs> um, yeah, Joan says great time to go on holidays, get nippy. Dogs! Could you please go and do that somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping for some sunshine on holiday. Ian says, I need someone behind me with a whip, but that's nothing to do with listings. I think you need Lisa. She was saying that she's into that kind of thing. Lisa Fenn, Ian Parkinson, off you go together. That's, there's a whole new channel. <laughs> okay. I am going to say goodbye, even though there are still six minutes left of Ian's requested one hour video. I'm going to say goodbye because the dogs have rolled all over the contents of one of those sacks. So I'm going to go and see if I can rescue it. Fandria says she's doing bog all today. She's got three 24 hour shifts this week. I feel like that's enough work for one person, definitely. So I will say goodbye. Adele says scary. Does that mean disciplining the dogs that you found scary? Or the idea of Lisa taking a whip to Andrew? Uh, Lisa said, there you go, Andrew. Uh, uh, sorry, not Andrew. Ian, Lisa will whip you for £40 an hour. I've no idea whether that's cheap or not. You'll have to have a check and see what the going, going rates are. Okay. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a lovely, lovely week. Everybody get lots of work done, especially you, Karin. <laughs> Come on, Karin. I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't believe in fairies. I don't believe in Jesus. I believe in cake, Reese's and Karin Fisher. Those are those are the three core tenets of my belief. Cake, Reese's and Karin Fisher. Everybody have a lovely week. Um, I probably won't see you next week. I'll miss you all. Take care. Thank you for tuning in. Hit a like button or a, or a something if you've liked it. And all of that jazz. And all that jazz. Do, 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 do. Where's the out button? Do, do. And all that jazz. I'm going to rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz.